And do you know what else I prepared for you? I actually am more prepared for this than I've been for any episode because I think of you as a professional broadcaster, you know? <laughs> so I got a little prop. Uh-oh. I thought I'm going to have a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh, is that the stuff from... Uh... Yeah. 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 It's nearly midnight. I'm getting through... <laughs> I'm getting through it, dude. This pandemic, I'm slowly <laughs> chipping away at my bottle of brandy that me and Rob... It never went in the video, did it? Oh, that's not from Nepal. Yeah. Mate, we yeah. drank a fair bit of that that night, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did, yeah. Immediately after we got it. Somewhere and, and mate, that didn't go... It. That didn't go in the episode, did it? He's Which, busy. No, that He's didn't on the go beard. in. No, that <laughs> didn't go in. No. So this is apple brandy from a bloke in the mountains under Annapurna, and he distilled this using gas that he had gathered. What from? Human feces. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he cooked with human poo. Jesus. Yeah. Honestly, they ain't, got a lot to, they ain't got a lot to go on up there, have they? So they just use what they got, and there's plenty of human poo, I suppose. So crack on. That's yeah. what they've got: rocks, and they got human poo up there. And they've got a Chinese motorway being built. They have, eh? That was one of the weirdest things completed. When was it? Like 2027 or something? No idea. Dude, it was the weird. It was, it was wow. post-apocalyptic, yeah. wasn't it? Well, yeah. It's 20 weird what? 2027. <laughs> Jeez. It, it was something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was mental. But it was weird because where we were wasn't that far from the Chinese border. And do you remember that art oh, like, in Nepal, this is? And... and um, I think they're quite worried about it getting invaded. I don't know why they're letting them build a motorway in, but the army camp was on, like, full alert, wasn't it? I mean, to be honest, a motorway <laughs> is a bit of a giveaway. I, I'd have probably been like, whoa, hang on a minute. We got seven years before the Chinese arrived, do you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, I don't know. but um, Just edging closer every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just throw a few more rocks on the end, no one notices, and it's all good. Yeah. Dude, I, I honestly think about that spot from time to time. So this is a spot called Jomsom, and it's uh, underneath it. Annapurna. And we, we flew in, it's on this tiny little aeroplane. We flew in, and it is just barren landscape, isn't it? There's not much there. There's not much there really? other than rocks and open well, windows for some reason. Well, mountains. Right. I mean, that there is. No, but like, literally the world's biggest mountains. Like, yeah. There was about seven of them there, weren't there? But Annapurna, yeah. which one is that? Is that the seventh or something? Like, the Alps are big, but these things are on another level. Mm. And, they, and we stayed so we... in this hotel with no heating, right? How long were we up there? Six days? There was no hot yeah. water. I, I didn't even Ollie's wash. still doing I it now, I heard. Take, I didn't take my underpants or thermals off. Like, when I took them off, my whole body, like, all the dead skin, I was like, like I was a mummy or something. You know what I mean? When we got back down to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, I blocked my shower up. Do you know what I found out on the sixth day of staying up there? Bear in mind, I was sleeping in, I think it was 10 layers of clothing. Yeah, well, you didn't wow. have a hot water blanket, did you? No, I found out someone had taken all of the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah. mate, it wasn't called Rob's Wild Rides for nothing. Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Like, they're going to look after me, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah fucking Hollywood know, had a blanket on each leg. A blanket on each leg, and every night, the best thing, like, it was cold, wasn't it, mate? It was relentless. Like, it was cold all day, it was cold all night. There was no getting yeah. away from the, the cold, except... The best bit of the day for me was coming in after that long, cold day and just turning me a hot water blanket, hot electric blanket on. <laughs> I used to just sit on it. I'd just sit on it for like an hour or two. I'd let so the heat four of just them. gradually come up through me. Sometimes I even stood on it if I had cold feet. It was the best thing. <laughs> what happens if you piss yourself with one of them on? Um, <laughs> Interesting. Well, should... well, people have them, so I guess it's all right. Yeah, they're probably yeah, certified, aren't yeah, they? Probably waterproof. Yeah, you probably yeah. just trip the switch. But there was no electric to trip, so really, was there? That was <laughs> no. the only time I got cold was when the power went off in the night. And I was like, that's selfish. <laughs>